welcome back once again so today i'm just going to be talking about a couple of things and whether it's worth it to study in china to study medicine in china actually so based on my experience this is what i would like to say i think if you're going to study medicine in china make sure you study in an english medium i've not experienced the chinese medium but from what I've heard from a couple of friends, I don't want to believe it's something I would like to try. Because first of all, studying medicine is already stressful. In fact, studying medicine in English is already stressful. And now, when you're studying in the Chinese medium, your classes are going to be in Chinese. Your exams are going to be in Chinese. So you're going to be writing in Chinese. For those of you who have studied Chinese, you know that it's, Chinese is difficult. It's, the way you speak is different from the way you write. There are two different things. So now, studying medicine in Chinese is very difficult. Make sure you come in an English medium. This is because now, after reading everything you want to read in English, you will now spend more time trying to translate what you've read into Chinese in order to pass exams. You understand? So I recommend that if you're going to study medicine in China, you make sure you come in an English medium. Um, yeah, English is not great as well, but that's not really a problem. The thing is, when you start listening to them, their English sound funny, but over time you get comfortable and it's no longer a problem for you anymore. There's four stages. The first stage is immune suppressive stage. Then immune clearing, clearing stage. And then maybe enter into a very relative stable stage and then maybe reactive may happen again happen again so during the four stages you know that which one belongs to the best time for treatment especially for those interfering treatment immune clearing clearing the second the second part you can be able to understand what they say and what they mean then that's not really a problem, I guess. Now, there's another thing I've noticed about medical students in China. Most people prefer to study on their own and the people really get stuff while studying on their own. Now, I'm not going to say everyone is like this. And my housemate, for example, he gets everything he wants to get in class. Reading is like an accessory to him. So he prefers the class. While me, on the other hand, I prefer to study on my own. I actually go to class. I listen in class, but I prefer to study on my own. I feel like I cover more when I'm studying on my own. Okay, I don't want to say this, this is not good, but sometimes I actually miss class just to study on my own because I feel I could cover more and um, maybe meet up with a class if I decide to study on my own. There is this thing about uh, medical students. Where I come from, we have been told that medical students don't sleep at night. They have to be awake at night reading their books with their legs in a bucket of water and all those things. Guys, honestly, I like my sleep. I really love my sleep. I like to sleep at night. So I don't believe that we have to do everything the way the other guys did it in their time. But I believe that you have to do what works for you. Personally, when I don't sleep at night, maybe trying to study or something, it, it will go well, of course. But the following day in school, oh my God, I'm going to look like someone who has been drunk for a few days. And I'm not going to get anything. I'm going to have headaches. I'm not going to listen in class. And then I'll come back very tired. Then I sleep again to compensate for the whole tiredness and the stress of not sleeping at night. And that's too much work on, on, on me. And I don't like that. So I prefer to study during the day and sleep at night. By the way, come to think of it, whenever you don't sleep at night, you have to compensate that sleep with another sleep during the day or sometime. So if you feel the daytime is good for you, why don't you just read during the day and sleep at night? If you feel the night is better for you, then you find a way to make it work. We all don't have to do the same thing. We might have different methods. As long as it works, then that's perfect. Another thing I would like to say is that Depression in med school is real. Trust me, you will not know it. It will creep in slowly. So it's not going to come and say, Hey, my name is depression. I want to depress you. It's not going to do that. It comes slowly. 
you never notice it. This one time, we were writing pathophysiology exam. The exam was so difficult. And while I was writing the exam, I was calculating my scores. And then when I calculate, it's like 50, 55, and I need 60 to pass. And it, I kept answering questions. I was beating around the bush in an attempt to escape failure. And then I got home that day. I was so sad. I laid down on my bed and bam, electricity bill. <laughs> so much money that you did not plan for. I was like, what should I think about? My exam or my electricity bill? So I, I just realized I was getting uninterested in everything, even my studies. Now, considering the fact that I had another exam three or four days later, I, I, just, I just switched off. I told myself, no, I can't do this. Now, I took that whole day, I went out, I bought something, sat down there, it came back, and I watched the movie the whole night, and I slept. Then the next day, reality dawned on me, I was like, oh, I have another exam. And then I started reading again. But I recommend that as a medical student, see, these things are stressful sometimes. The, the, the little amount of time you have to have fun, please, don't take it for granted, just, just go and have fun. See, there are so many things I didn't used to do before, that now I do before I don't go to parties. But now, I just go there, hang out with friends, we chat, we play game. Ah, boys and FIFA. I didn't know how to play game. But look at me now. Playing FIFA, I go to cinema, I go to the park, I do a lot of things just to have fun. And then, if, if I really want to go out at it, then I, I call my friends, most of my friends that are musicians. And then we just go play some music, enjoy. See, sometimes you need a time out. Don't think because you have to be serious, you take your, the whole of your life serious, and then you don't even, you burn out. You need to have a social life. Seriously, you really need to have a social life outside medicine. You might think you don't need it, that's fine. But trust me, I think a lot of people do. You don't want to be caught up in medicine and then you have a serious burnout and then you can't find yourself and I also think you need to have friends outside of your normal environment most of my friends are medical in fact 95% of my friends are medical students the other side of people who are not medical students uh, I met them in church <laughs> that's not good sometimes you need to hear jokes that are not medical inclined you need to hear other jokes the other guys are funny too and I think what has helped me is that my friends are a mixture of different kind of people. Trust me, there's no dull moment. No, sometimes there are dull moments, but there's hardly a dull moment. So you need to make a balance, strike a balance, study hard. So I realize I've been talking for quite a long time now, so I'm going to stop this video. Next time, I'm going to be uploading opinions of other medical students um, and what they think um, their life has been since they started studying medicine and probably I'm going to upload videos of um, other students what they wish they knew before they started medical school. Anyway, see you next time. Bye!